Hello guys and welcome back to Jam Chemistry class. And of course, we are looking at this on this episode, we are looking at the definition of acid and basis by Gilbert N. Lewis. So we have seen the definition by, of course, Zvante Arrhenos. We have seen that by Zvante in the first episode of uh, Acid Base and Salt. Zvante Arrhenos. We have seen that by what? We have seen that by what Johannes Bronsted and Thomas. Larry, and of course, in today's episode, we are going to be looking at the definition by what Gilbert and Lewis. All right, so if I've not seen any of those previous episodes, please, you are wasting your time here. Go back, listen to them, they'll be very, very important in the next episodes to come. So, please, do not play with any of the definitions. All right, so now, uh, we're looking at Gilbert and Lewis' definition of acid bases and salt. But before we do that, know that this video tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jump app. It is the best CBT practice app available for you to study, right? It is all you need to succeed in your exam, all right? So it has all the past questions for all the subjects in one app, all right? And you pay for activation once. Once you pay the activation fee for the app, right, you will to assess all the questions on the app. There's a practice mode on the app. There's, a, there's, a, there's an exam mode on the app. There's a what mock mode, right? So you can take any mode you can take any more to what to practice right even before the mains and also there's a very very important one called the utm challenge utm challenge is being conducted for all students taking jam exam for the particular year for this particular year so once you join on in the class in the challenge every weekend every weekend you are prepared to face a challenge from what or from questions set from the app all right so then you are able to compete with other people you are seeing your score weekly you are seeing your performance weekly for each subject so you're able to what to know your strengths and your weaknesses also you are winning prizes because the challenge is, is to is to win prize you are contesting that means there's a prize to be won every week to your exam week all right so make sure what you jump on that app immediately go to play store download the app and what begin to work to practice and of course greatness is just at your doorstep know that also the activation of the app is 3000 naira now as opposed to 2500 naira that was done previously or even 2000 naira in previous years so things keep going up and we have to readjust because then it is not it's actually not easy on our part so please uh, support us download the app activate it and what you see yourself at the top so yeah this you are seeing what uh, today's definition uh, of acid base and salt by gibbard and lewis so gibbard lewis and lewis say that what acids are electron pair acceptors all right why say that bases on the other hand are electron pair donors all right so according to Gibbard and Lewis, acids are electron pair acceptors. They accept electrons, right? They, 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 they accept electron pair. They love to be given electron pair, right? They have affinity for electron pair. Why what? Bases, on the other hand, they donate. They are donors on this, in this definition. So they are donors, they donate with electron pair. All right. So this is the definition of acid base and salt by Gibbard and Lewis. And this is the fundamental for this episode. So make sure you know this first. Before we will start talking about any other thing, make sure you know this first on your head, right? Very easy, right? Very easy, but very, very, very important to know it. All right. So now, from the definition, you can see, you can see that what for this electron pair acceptors, you can see that for them to want to be accepting electron pair, it means that they are what they are electron deficient. They are electron deficient. For them to want to accept electrons, it means that they are what they are electron what deficient. All right. So now, apart from the fact that they are electron deficient, right, it also means that what they have what they may have what empty orbitals. All right. So before we talk about these empty orbitals, you should know that what electron pair acceptors they are what electron what deficient. And they must love, they must have such love, so much love to accept electrons, to accept what electrons, right? So electron pair acceptors are what electron deficient and what and have such have so much love to accept electrons. And in that case, we call them what electrophiles. Electrophiles. Electrophiles mean electron loving. This is the meaning of electrophiles. That means they are what? They are electron what? Loving. They love to receive electron pair. Right? So, 
that is for us. This means it means that this species, this species, like we're talking about, this electron pair acceptor, this species, right? They are what they are positively charged. They are usually what positively charged. Positively charged or have empty orbitals or or have what empty orbitals so it's either they're positively charged or what they have what empty what orbital this species are talking about this acid right that uh, electron pair acceptors they are what they are we say they are electrons deficient and they have what love to accept to receive what electrons and we say because of that they are called what electrophiles or what they are electrophilic right and this species we are talking about they are positively charged or have what empty orbitals and of course this empty orbital explain why they want to what accept pair of electrons we get so it's very very clear on that front so that's why we say that what lewis acids are electrophilic or they are electrified they are electro electron loving Just give me electron give me give me i want more electrons so lewis acids are electrophilic they are electron worth loving right so now on the other hand for the basis the basis are what electron pair donors from the definition and what does this mean it means that what that the basis or these electron pair donors right are rich in electrons before you want to give that means you have now right yes before you want to give out that means you have although some people say that uh, uh, uh the person does not really have uh, that is given uh, well okay someone that don't have anything what would the person give let's say we need something or sometimes or not maybe advice or right you know some people that they know how to give advice they don't know how to give money anything so so now something that what some for for for, for them to want to pair to 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 to, to give what electron pair so for them to want to donate electrons electron pair that means what they are rich in electrons first of all they are rich in electrons and they must be willing to what to give these electrons what to this what positive centers that resemble the nucleus in charge you see they are able to what give us this what electrons to what to positive centers so positive centers positive center that is what this possibly charge what right that this acid that are what that are positively what charge this lewis acid that are positively charged right so they must be willing to give what this those electrons the basis rather or the electron pair donors not be willing to give all those electrons to what to the to positive centers that resemble the nucleus in charge we know that the charge of the nucleus is positive right because in the nucleus of an atom nucleus of an atom is where we find what the protons and the what and the neutrons the protons are positively charged the charge on the neutron is what is zero right so the overall charge on the nucleus is positive so the nucleus is a positive center right so this electron pair donors must be willing to give what electrons to what to positive centers or what to uh to uh to uh positive center that resemble what the nucleus in charge centers that are positive so most times that's what we call the uh Lewis basis nucleophiles. Nucleophiles. Lewis basis are what nucleophiles. That means they what they give electrons. They give what electrons, right? They give what electrons. They donate electrons. So we call them what nucleophilic. We say that they are what they are nucleophilic or what they are what they are nucleophiles. All right. So such species, this basis, this electron pair donors, they are usually what they are usually negatively charged. Negatively negatively charged and of course they are what, all have what lone pairs or have lone pair of electrons these are the characteristics of what of this or this species this electron pair donors they are usually what negatively charged or have lone pair of electrons therefore of course for acids initially remember i told you that what they are electron deficient right so they are positively charged or what they have empty orbitals why the basis are what negatively charged or how have a lone pair of electrons and because they have this lone pair of electrons this positively charged uh, uh, species we want to what uh, they have empty orbitals we want to what accept them right so they are they accept that's if these ones are willing to give to them all right so it's very very easy to what to know there the most important part here is to what to know that what acid and electron pair acceptors why basis are electron pair what donors please 
you have not liked this video what you are doing is wrong see that hand just below the video that looks like this right on the video just click on it liking it would allow other students to easily find this video right also do not forget to subscribe to this channel that red subscribe button below this video just click on the red subscribe button there once you click it once you click it whenever we publish a new video you don't need to be told you don't need to come to the channel to check you'll be notified on your phone that we have off to the schools has published a new video all right so it helps you to keep track with us all right so it's this for your source and it is free that subscription is free so do not think you are paying to subscribe to this youtube channel it is completely free the only thing you are subscribing for is the application all right which is three thousand naira. that is if you want to it is not for you can just watch the video learn and we'll go and write your exam you see be successful all right so let's go on now we have seen this now the next thing for us to see some examples let's see some examples of both lewis acids and lewis what basis let's see examples of lewis acids and lewis basis so now for acids that's lewis acids now examples the most common example of lewis acid is the hydrogen cation hydrogen cation this h plus or the proton we we'll call it what the proton Right, we we'll call it the proton because it is only this proton, or it's only this hydrogen atom that's only found in the nucleus. Right, because hydrogen is atomic number one. Right, so it, also, it only has what one proton. All right, so other examples include potassium. Right, other examples include uh, this Fe three plus. Other example of Lewis acid is Cu two plus. Right, uh, BF three, uh, CO two, SO three. Uh, BR2 or also uh, ALCL3. These are all examples of Lewis acids. Lewis acids. So just know them. Just know them. Is they are important. So just just know them in case you are asked which of the following is not a Lewis acid, so that you can know which one to work to cut out immediately. All right. So let's see the examples of what of Lewis bases. Of course, the most common one is also uh, the hydrogen ion. We have fluorine. Fluoride ion, we have uh, nitrogen, we have H2O, right? Water is also what is also a Lewis base. So other examples are NH3, right? SO4 2 minus. So NH3 ammonia, uh, uh, then SO4 2 minus what is there are also examples of what of Lewis base. Other example are um, C6H6. All right. So these are examples of what of Lewis what bases. So please make sure that you just Take note of them and what and keep them at heart all right so please subscribe to this youtube channel and of course we'll continue our episode on acid base and salt in the next episode thanks for watching